Hello, today I've done the scary thing of getting out all of my coloured pencils in one go. What I want to do is swatch out all of my turquoise coloured pencils and I'll explain the reason for that in a little bit. So I've taken all of the turquoise pencils out of their boxes and I've got watercolour pencils here on the left and going through my other pencils. These are my sharpeners ready to go. I like the Derwent pencil sharpener for most things. Um, I've had this for quite a long time now and it's I, I love the point, the long point that it gives to pencils. But I bought this one recently. Um, it's the Cum K U M sharpener and I needed this wider hole for my new um, Creta Colour Mega Colour uh, pencil. And then I've got the Stabilo for my super chunky Stabilo woody pencils. I've also got a scruffy turquoise swatch sheet that I'd made at the same time I was paint at swatching out all of my turquoise watercolour paints. So I just want a neat updated version. But also these are grouped together by brand and I want to group them together by the different kinds of turquoises rather than brand so I can see a better comparison. And the paper I'm going to be swatching on today, it's a Hewlett Packard printer paper. Uh, I'll put the title on the video, I can't remember the full name of it, but it's actually a really nice quality paper. And the pencil pad that I've got at the moment is an off-white, it's a Strathmore one. And I just wanted to use pure white today. This was done on the, the Strathmore pad that I've got, so you can you can see the colour difference. So yeah, that's what I'm using today. So the reason that I wanted to look at the turquoises is because I'd started um, drawing this Kingfisher a few years ago. And at the time, I had the full set of, let me have a look, 120 Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils. And I'd got the 72 pack of Prismacolor Premiers. And between them, I had, well, I think these are the four Polychromos turquoises that was in the set. And I've bought extra open stock Premier Prismacolor pencils. So I didn't have, I didn't have all of these at the time. I can't remember which ones come in the original 72 pack. But what I found is that I was really struggling to get all the different tones of turquoises to come through in the Kingfisher feathers. And so I think ever since then, I've had a bit of a bee in my bonnet about turquoise colored pencils. And so I've probably overdone it and gone for every single turquoise I can find uh, in the sets that, in the um, brands that I like. So let's get swatching and hopefully if I was to do this Kingfisher picture again, I wouldn't have such a problem this time and I'd be able to do it better um, with a wider range of turquoises. So I'm going to start off with what's pushing the boundaries of turquoise at all really. These are very, very dark grey turquoises and the first one I've got is Derwent Graphi Tint Steel Blue. I'm not going to be wetting any of the watercolour pencils that I've got. They're, for this purpose I want to just see what they're, what they're like and how they compare with the other coloured pencils just in their own dry state. These are really nice soft pencils, just as they are. My first ever video on YouTube, which was just over a month ago now, was reviewing these graphite tint pencils. Okay, 
So gravy tint steel blue gravy tint shadow and gravy tint ocean blue and I've got one other similar colour pencil that can go with these in this category also a derwent this time a derwent drawing pencil in ink blue and these pencils are just a dream to colour with so soft and creamy and rich so that's drawing in ink blue so i think so far derwent for the win when it comes to these dark gray turquoises okay so my next grouping are these dark bluey turquoises and i'll start off with dark aquamarine from ink tense These are also lovely, soft, creamy pencils in their own right, even though these are um, water-soluble ones. Oops, I haven't got very regular shapes going on here. This is another ink tense, sea blue. Then another Derwent is Derwent Lightfast in dark turquoise. I really do like the Derwent Lightfast pencils, but I don't have many of them because I feel like I've got a lot of Karen Dash Luminance pencils and I think they're fairly similar pencils so I can't justify having both. That was dark turquoise and then next we do have a Karen Dash Luminance. Oh, these are just so nice to colour with. That's ink blue, uh, sorry, ice blue from Luminance. And then I've got a Faber Castell Polychromos. Okay, let's just get some names down. I need to do a guide to the names here. This might not be very good, but I'm just putting down the ones that I know will help me remember them the best. Okay. She's in a big watercolour brush. Put any crumbles? So for my next batch of colours, I'm doing these dark, deep, greeny turquoises. And I'll start off with the last ink tents that I've picked out for today, and that's green aquamarine. These ink tents pencils feel quite um, waxy when you draw with them. There's kind of a bit of catch like mm, drag on the paper it's probably a better description i'm not saying that as a a criticism or a plus point just describing their use okay we've got helio turquoise from polychromos This is the hardest, the polychromos are the hardest of the pencils that I've got. 
um, and I, I like to use them in conjunction with other with other pencils. So for this Kingfisher, for example, um, when I just had the Prismacolors and Polychromos, my underlayers and my blended layers were done with the Polychromos, and then the fine detail, all these fine lines, were done with the Faber Castell Polychromos on top. They hold their the polychromos hold their point better. Um, so though I don't enjoy actually just colouring with them quite as much because of the hardness, they don't melt and they're not as creamy. I do think they're great and very valuable. Okay, now I've got Faber Castell's Albrook Dura watercolour pencils, and this is the same. Again, this is, let's see, Helio Turquoise. And that, that's, I think that's great. You've got exactly the same colour across different ranges from um, Faith Castell. And our first Holbein. I do like Holbein. I've got I've got a few of their pencils. Um, you might have seen I bought quite a few recently in my art tool video from Jackson's. I don't feel like I need to own the whole set. I'm, I'm happy with my Luminance Prisma colours and and the Polychromos to kind of cover all. All my bases, I just have a few of these in colours which um, the other brands don't have. Hmm, and the lovely melty Caring Dash Luminance. Actually, I'm not even sure if melty is the right word. There's a there's a slight chalkiness to it. They don't feel the same as um, any other pencils. But the kind of the colour lay down, um, well, the, the chalky feeling almost kind of belies the colour lay down. But yeah, they are a joy to use. And then lastly, for this little group, I've got um, Prisma Premier, sorry, Prisma Colour Premier Cobalt Turquoise, which are the cheapest of the bunch, but still an absolute joy to use. I can't get away from the fact that I think Premier, uh, Prism Colours Premier are, are brilliant. I've never had any of the breakage issues that um, other people talk about. I do notice that I like the fatter barrels of the Derwents and the Luminance. When I switch to the Prisma colour, I kind of miss miss the the fatter barrels, and it, they don't look as posh. But I, I I still think they're absolutely brilliant pencils. Right then, my next little grouping are these kind of mid cobalt green turquoises. And again, we start off with two from Faber Castell. So that's polychromos cobalt, cobalt green. And the next is Albert Dura cobalt green. I like that they, um, that Faber Castell used the same names as well. These Albert Dura watercolour pencils are actually really quite nice to colour with in their own right. I'm 
We've got Prismacolor Premier Aquamarine. Yeah, that just glides compared to the previous two. Next up is my only Creta Color Mega Color turquoise. I've got the whole box of 36, but this is the only turquoise in it. They're actually really nice pencils. Next up, I've got the Stabilo Woody. I've just sharpened it, and that's about as sharp a point as I can get on it. If I'm doing something wrong, please let me know in the comments. Um, I don't know if that's the intention that it just gets to that sharpness. But anyway, I love, oh my gosh, they're so creamy. These are fantastic pencils. Just for kind of, you're never going to get a nice, truly neat edge with it, but for joyful mark making, I highly recommend the Stabilo Woodies. Okay, so those were... Okay, next up I've got these two kind of standalone colours really. And this first is a pencil I've probably had since I was in my teens, so 30 odd years ago. And it's the Rexel Derwent watercolour pencil. Actually, I could maybe have gone up there, but never mind. And the second one that I've got in this kind of mid-blue turquoise range is um, Prismacolor Colt Erase. So these ones have got a rubber on the end. And they rub out quite well. I use them sometimes for doing a sketch where I don't want the colour to be too bright. So my next group, I've got four in this group and it could be argued that they're not true turquoises, they're kind of greeny, greyy blues, but these are among my four favourites. Oh, I'm going to sharpen these first. Okay, so this is Jade Green in Prismacolor. And interestingly, three of the, oh no, sorry. Just two are from Prismacolor. Okay. This next one is Smoke Blue from Derwent Drawing. They're very similar actually, both lovely pencils. And this is Sky Mist from Holbein. And this is one of the very first Holbein pencils that I bought, just because it was a colour I couldn't find anywhere else. And then lastly for this little group, I've got Muted Turquoise from um, Prismacolor again I just think is 
a lovely, lovely colour. And I just bought this open stock to add to my 72 um, tin. Okay. Right, two more groupings to go through. And the next are quite bluey turquoises, but I guess what a lot of people would think of when you say turquoise. Okay, first of all, we've got Krika Solar Blue from Caran d'Ache Luminance. Which is probably like the brightest turquoise that I've got. And this is Polychromos in light cobalt turquoise. And then the same again in the Albrecht, Albrecht Jura watercolour, light cobalt turquoise. And then turquoise light from Caran d'Ache Luminance. So I'm, I'm pressing down equally hard with these, but you can just see the kind of easy colour payoff with the luminance. And finally, the last grouping, and probably my favourite group, is the really light greeny turquoises. And first up, we've got Tolbine's Jade Green. And this is the most green of the turquoises. This is Prismacolor Light Aqua, which is a great one. Then Light Malachite from Luminance. This is a super, super favorite Holbein's Ice Green. I love this in their acryla gouache paint as well, this colour. Then we've got the fabulous Woody and this is pastel blue. Oh, every time I use one of these it just makes me go, ah. Oh. So nice. And the last pencil of all is a Dermot Light Fast Light Aqua, which is by far and away the lightest turquoise. Again, it's a very greeny one. Okay, let's take a look at them all together then. I'm kind of surprised that there aren't, across all of these different brands, that there aren't more turquoises. Especially, especially these light turquoises.
if you know if you know of um a good pencil brand that does some different turquoises uh, especially i don't know around these lighter ones or something that's kind of in between the muted turquoises and this you know this kind of color then please do let me know because i still feel like it's an incomplete selection of turquoises if i'm honest Tell me which your favourite turquoises are. Which ones you use the most? And here's my list of pencils that I've shown today. Well, I hope that might have been of use to somebody who's looking to either expand their pencil collection or avoid dupes. I've done this on a loose sheet so that I can add it to my colour swatch folder. I did a video showing that recently. I'd only intended to do this for my turquoise coloured pencils, but if there's another colour you'd like to swat you'd like to see me swatching out um, colours for, please let me know. I have a full set of polychromos. I've got the majority of Prismacolors now and I have a reasonable range of Dermot drawing pencils, a full set of ink tents, a full set of Creta Color Mega Colors and a reasonable range of the Albert Drawer. I've got an almost full set of Luminance by Karen Dash as well. Let me know in the comments if I can do anything that will be useful for people to see. Thanks ever so much for watching. Bye.